Hello and welcome to e-lectures. Today, let's discuss the short story The Bridge by Franz Kafka. Before moving on to the short story, I will give you a brief introduction to the author Franz Kafka. Franz Kafka was born to Jewish parents in Prague, which is a part of Czech Republic. And Kafka's father was Hermann Kafka and mother Julie. His father had very humble beginnings and later he moved on to textile business and established himself as a great businessman. Even though Kafka had two brothers, they died in infancy and the entire responsibility and expectations of the parents fell on Kafka. Kafka and his sisters were mostly trained by governesses employed by his rich father. Kafka, however, had a very lonely childhood. He was never able to come up to the expectations of his father. He was a man of stature. He had a high reputation in the society and therefore expected his child also to come up to that level. However, Franz Kafka was never able to make it to the expectations of his father. He is an educated man. He received a law degree at the University of Prague served in unpaid service as law clerk for the civil and criminal courts and later obtained a position in the workman's compensation division of the Austrian government. At the same time, Franz Kafka never forgot to develop his literary skills. Whenever he got time, he used to write his feelings and reflections about his own life and about whatever he saw around in the society using realism and fantasy. If we look at the works published by, by him, they are very little. So he has published only very little in his lifetime and he also asked a very close friend of his to burn the rest of the manuscripts after his death. However, his friend refused to do it and it is this purely, it is this reason that has earned Kafka posthumous fame. If the friend had burnt all the manuscripts, these works would never have come to light and people would never have known a great writer like Kafka. And as a person, as an individual, he was neurotic, insecure and he was filled with a sense of inadequacy. As was mentioned before, he could never rise to the expectations of his father and his father neglected him to a very great extent such that he had a very lonely childhood and it very badly affected his psyche as well. Maybe this was the reason why he became neurotic, he became extremely insens insecure and he also developed the sense of inadequacy. There was always something lacking or wanting in him. And his works, if we examine, are a search for personal fulfillment and understanding. It is his works which helped him to find his true self, to understand who he was and to help him recover from the trauma that he received or from the blow that he received from the negative comments he heard from his parents, especially his father. However, his works are all very profound and unique and as it was mentioned, he combines realism and fantasy and his works are extremely profound in nature. They are very unique pieces of works such that it has earned him the title of Kafkaesque. The style used by Kafka in his work is called as Kafkaesque. And now it has come to mean any complicated or frustrating experience of a person in society. For example, if we look at Kafka's metamorphosis, the experiences of Gregor Samsa, especially the trouble that he faces from his own family can be called as Kafkaesque. The experiences of Joseph K, the character in his work, The Trial, is yet another example of a Kafkaesque situation where a person is arrested for no reason, where, where Joseph K undergoes a lot of trouble in the hands of the bureaucratic society. Thus, the short stories and novels of Kafka can be branded as Kafkaesque as all the protagonists of these stories as well as novels, they go through complicated and frustrating experiences. Perhaps they are all a reflection of what Kafka underwent as a person and as a child. The story of our concern, De Bruck or The Bridge. The Bridge is actually the English translation of the German word De Bruck. It is narrated in a first person uh, manner and it appeared in the collection called The Great Wall of China Stories and Reflections. So this English title is actually a translation. Kafka has always written in German and this is a this is an English translation of the German uh, collection and it is translated as The Great Wall of China Stories and Reflections. 
This story, The Bridge, was written between mid-December 1916 and January 1917 and it was published posthumously by Max Broad who was his friend and I hope you remember my telling you that it was to Max Broad that Kafka requested to burn all the manuscripts after his death but Max Broad did not agree to it. He refused to uh, burn them and thus we have The Bridge published in the year 1931. So it was a posthumous publication and it was published by Max Broad who was Kafka's friend and this was published in the year 1931. Now the bridge, the bridge is actually a hermaphroditic character. It has the characteristics of both the male and the female and this bridge it acts as a connector as we know any bridge acts as a connector and if we look at the story it has three paragraphs. It is written in three paragraphs. The first paragraph tells uh, about the bridge. The bridge gives a self description. It gives an introduction to itself. The bridge lies stiff and cold and it speaks about how it lies. Its toes on one side, the fingers clutching the other and clamping itself fast into a crumpling clay so it is not very strong as we can infer because it has fastened itself to a clay that is crumpling and the tails of the coat perhaps it's a part of the bridge it was fluttering at its side and then down below there was this icy trout stream and one important point that we notice is it has never been visited by tourists no tourist straight to this impassable height. So the bridge is at a very considerable height. Uh, no one has ever come there to pass this impassable height and it has never been traced in any or traced on any map. So the bridge has been waiting and waiting. It has been waiting for quite a long time in order to have a visitor but there has no one or no one has ever come to the bridge so that is what the first paragraph tells us it tells about the bridge the condition of the bridge how it looks like how it lies there waiting for a visitor but no visitor has ever come to it and then all of a sudden in the second paragraph we have another character coming to the bridge the bridge is now visited by someone and there is something important to be noted in the second paragraph I cannot tell my thoughts were always in confusion and perpetually moving in a circle. So it speaks about the isolation, the alienation the bridge had been feeling all the while. Its thoughts are always in confused manner and it has always been in a circle. There has never been a linear or progressive thought for the bridge. It has always been in a circle. There has never been a progression. Maybe because it remains isolated from the rest of the world. It has absolutely no connection with the rest of the world and there has never been a human visitor to the place. One main reason because it stands at a great height and at the same time this has never been marked on the map. So the second paragraph tells about how the bridge is excited to have a visitor. It hears a human step and it is extremely happy and uh, very excited to receive the uh, visitor and so it readies itself uh, straighten yourself bridge so the bridge is actually patting itself up is asking itself to ready itself so that for the first time it is going to mount a traveler on it so and it is very very responsible but if he stumbles show what you are made of and like a mountain god hurl him across to land so that is the responsibility of the bridge the bridge has become very responsible he is uh, he or she does not quite sure what the gender of the bridge is whether it is a uh, male or a female and that is why it is called to have or it is said to have a uh, hermaphroditic characteristics the characteristics of both male and female because it speaks about its hair and in certain times we feel that it is a male and now it strengthens itself in order to help the traveler move from one place to the other without falling so it becomes the responsibility of the bridge to hold the traveler and never let the man fall he came so it is the steps the bridge identifies the visitor to be a man he came he tapped me with the iron point of stick we do not know why he has uh, tapped the uh, bridge with his iron with the iron point of a stick we do not know whether the man is carrying a, a walking stick with him 
it is iron point so he says that it is an iron rod it's an iron stick so perhaps there has been some uh, trouble that has been caused to the bridge and he also lifted the coat tails of the bridge with it and uh, he also plunged the point of the stick onto the bushy hair of the uh, bridge and therefore it is obvious that this man has come there not to uh, mount the bridge or to cross the bridge but rather it is some destruction that has been done to it and even before the bridge had the time to think who had come whether it was a child whether it was just a dream or a wafer or it was a suicide attempt or a tempter or a destroyer and just at the moment when the bridge just turns around to see who it was it collapses and it falls into the sharp rocks which had always been gazing up at the bridge from down below and the crushing water seemed very peaceful to it before but it is over to the sharp rocks that the bridge is now collapsing so at one moment at one point the bridge felt that it was going to be of use finally there was somebody to use it but what was it it was not to cross the bridge that the man had come but it was ultimately to destroy it so this is the story the primary analysis of the story the bridge so it acts as a connector it remains at an unidentified place no one has crossed it but ultimately when a human approaches the bridge collapses so it becomes a paradoxical figure it is filled with paradoxes at a moment when the bridge is getting ready to help it collapses so that is called as the paradox so the bridge itself stands as a paradoxical figure and during the explanation that was given it was said that kafka's works often reflect his own life and kafka himself has pointed out in his diary he had the habit of writing diary he said that uh, you know he said i have become cold again and insensible and if we connect it to the first line it becomes clear the first line of the story begins i was stiff and cold and it has resonance of what kafka used to write in his diary uh, once he felt highly traumatic he wrote i have become cold again and insensible so it is rightly pointed out that his texts are often embodiments of his inner life and the situation in the world and the state of alienation that he has faced from the part of the external world the bridge also is similar the bridge also becomes a reflection of his inner self the numbness and coldness that kafka as a writer has felt so perhaps this is one surface meaning or a superficial meaning that can be derived from the bridge and then this can also be a reference to or this can also at one point be a reflection of the state of a writer so kafka once noted in his diary what will be my fate as a writer is very simple i waver continually fly to the summit of the mountain but then fall back in a moment others waver too but in lower regions with greater strength if they are in the danger of falling they are caught up by the kinsman who walks beside them for that very purpose but i waver on the heights it is not death alas for the eternal torments of dying so he makes a comparison between himself and the rest of the writers who have always had godfathers or somebody to help them out but kafka has always been a lone figure a lone writer in the literary scenario where he was never supported by anyone and the height of the height of the bridge the bridge stands at a height and it can be a reference to how kafka has also tried to reach the summit and how he has fall, fallen back in a moment so the collapse of the bridge can be a reference to the collapse of the writer himself and he says that the other writers have always been lifted by others but then he has never been lifted but i waver on the heights when he goes to the height he starts wavering and it is not death alas but the eternal torments of dying there has always been something or the other worrying him and that has made him fall down just like the collapse of the bridge there has been other critical interpretations too of uh, the bridge and it represents kafka's life after his break up with felice boer in fact kafka had relationship with lot of women he has never been successful with any of them and it was with felice boer that he fell in love 
and this relationship continued for some time and they used to correspond with each other through letters but later they had a breakup and it troubled and therefore in this particular story the bridge the collapse of the bridge can also be considered or can be a representation of kafka's life after the breakup with his lover felice boer another interpretation could be kafka's inability to integrate into a social community it need not be kafka alone any person who has been suffering like kafka who has been facing alienation in the modern period so it is the inability to integrate oneself into a social community the bridge remains aloof it stands alone in an un uncharted or in an unmapped uh, area and this perhaps is a reflection of how people find it difficult to integrate themselves into a social community and kafka himself had such a problem because of the uh, aloofness that he feels because fa uh, that he felt because of the loneliness that he used to feel as a child and then it also is a reference to the existential dilemma the death and destruction which makes life impossible so existential crisis was an important thing that worried or that affected people of the 20th century especially because of the alienation isolation and boredom that they felt after the first world war so soon after the first world war there was a heralding of the second world war the first world war was very destructive it left the people kaput it resulted in a meaninglessness in life and they did not know the purpose for which they even existed and it is this existential dilemma that we can see in many of the writers of the 20th century and this is particularly uh, dealt with by franz kafka and in the in the short story the bridge it is a very same existential dilemma that we can come across in the metaphor of the bridge the bridge stands there alone it does not have a purpose in life it has not been mapped uh, it has never been charted or mapped and uh, people never know people do not know about the existence of such a bridge and the moment when it gets ready the moment when it feels that it is going to have some purpose or meaning in life it collapses and it is totally destroyed so it is also the existential dilemma that we can come across in the bridge by franz kafka and some of the critics have read this from the perspective of gender where the bridge and grammatically uh, uh, the bridge in uh, German Brook, it's uh, grammatically feminine in German and it is represented as a female and the human crossing it is a male because that is how the bridge addresses uh, he came, uh, that is how the bridge says. So and the human crossing it is considered as male and the violence that is done by a male against the female has been metaphorically represented using the bridge. The cruelty meted out by the bridge or the cruelty or violence induced by the person or the visitor on the bridge can be regarded or considered as the violence of male against the female so this has also been given a gender perspective and many of the critics have read the story the bridge from the point of view of a, of gender where the violence of the male is represented against the female through the bridge and the man who tries to destroy it and uh, in many of the works written by kafka i told you about the term kafka is can kafka is because any of those uh, uh, problems the issues and sufferings that the people face in the hands of bureaucracy can be called as uh, Kafka is the complicated life that people have to go through can be called as Kafka is and it is this Kafka is uh, style that you can come across in Kafka's works especially metamorphosis and the trial so the bureaucratic pressure on an ordinary man can also be seen in the bridge can be seen represented in the bridge where the bridge stands for an ordinary man and the person, the visitor who comes there and destroys the bridge can be considered as the bureaucratic pressure that falls on the ordinary man. And the complete failure of the social systems in order to uplift ordinary human beings can also be seen as a reading of the short story, The Bridge. And to a certain extent, it can also be considered as the failure of language, where language fails to communicate your inner strife at just at a moment when you feel that you require language and that you are able to use it in order to speak about yourself you find language failing you so it also tells about the failure of language how uh, communication breaks 
and how it becomes difficult and the process of language itself failing and how it leads to a complete destruction. So these are some of the critical interpretations that can be associated with Kafka's The Bridge. I hope it has uh, given you some light on uh, the short story The Bridge and uh, this is just a superficial reading. I have not gone into the very depths of the story but I think for a BA student this is enough and thank you for listening and uh, have a nice day and we will meet in another lecture another time. Thank you.